Hello everyone and welcome to Ewood Park as Championship football returns following the international break. Town then are in position to capitalise against the Blackburn Rovers side that has suffered a major slump since the end of November, which has seen this afternoon's hosts win just two of their last 20 league games. And Ipswich for the first time looking to enjoy a spell of possession as Morsi clips it through to Broadhead and Broadhead was under a bit of pressure there from Callum Britton, just lost his balance. Yeah, it's a beautiful ball by Sam Morsi, great run. That could have been a penalty, you know, with a, a pullback on Broadhead's shirt. I think the Blackburn defender is extremely lucky because that's a that seems they're a stonewall penalty. Pin Cuisine just penalised for a handball there, and then there was a, a late challenge on Chaplin, but Chaplin has managed to stay on his feet, and now he uses the outside of his left foot to find Leif Davis corner of the penalty area. Back in towards Chaplin, who helps it go forwards, and it's in the back of the net. Ipswich lead. It's gone through Ainsley Pears. And Chaplin, who started that attack with a lovely piece of balance after it looked like he was going to be fouled, he then delivered out to Davis. And we see those two combined so often. Davis into Chaplin and Chaplin into the back of the net. One ellipse Ipswich Town. His ranking Costello. Sammy Schmodix will keep it in play and delivers low across the Ipswich penalty area. George Edmondson is there to divert it out for a corner kick. It does look like a Blackburn side there for the taking, doesn't it? As Chapman tries to find Hutchinson with that ball. Yeah, absolutely. I, I just think we'll just let this play out and see how, see how it goes. Here's Dolan inside the penalty area now. Can he find the cutback to Rankin Costello? Yes, he can. And Joe Rankin Costello finds the back of the net, but it won't count. The flag is up, and Blackburn are going to have another one chalked off, so Ipswich will maintain their lead. Luongo, Broadhead into Connor Chaplin inside the penalty area, left for the effort into the side netting. Broadhead. Ball just gets away from him and the is dispossessed by Tyrese Dolan. Dolan's found Hedges on his near side. Hedges bursting towards the penalty area up against Luongo. Hedges crossing across and it falls for Cuisine and then it's a challenge from Connor Chaplin. Schmodix, Dolan, Schmodix once more, just trying to link up with Dolan. Here is Dolan now using his feet to cut it back for Sammy Schmodix and he lifts it just over the crossbar. I think Hladke's got some fingertips to that as well to prevent it from ending up in the back of the Ipswich net. Corner away to our right-hand side. Pickering, left-footed option, in it comes. And there's the header, and Hladke is able to dive on the ball. I think it was Wharton who rose highest. Blackburn are going to have a right go. He is going to have to do his fair, fair share of, of tracking back and making tackles and blocks. Britain delivering in. Ladke is well barged into in the end. The Blackburn supporters celebrate as the ball hammers into the crossbar and into the back of the net. But the whistle was always going to blow there. And that's now Ladke came to gather that cross and was barged into by Scott Wharton, allowed to keep possession, much to the annoyance of the Ewood Park faithful. And now Hamadi has chested it down to Hutchinson, and Hutchinson has set Jackson on his way. Alhamidi bursting, he receives the cutback and gets the shot all wrong. The away side can catch Blackburn out on the transition. Oh, and Hadke might have been caught out here, and somehow he makes the save. When he recovers it, Sami Schmodix cannot believe that he's not scored. But Václav Hadke wanted far too much time on the ball here. Blackburn enjoying all the possession at the moment. Dolan, this time on this right-hand side. Challenged by Sarmiento. Can Sarmiento set someone on their way? Maybe he'll go alone. He's got Jackson supporting right-hand side. Jackson bursting towards the penalty area. Caitlin Jackson, a cross goal and wide. Well, that was the chance on the transition. It was brilliant work from Sarmiento to win it and then break through a couple of bodies in midfield. And it was Jackson breaking into the penalty area just... A wide angle, really. Everyone watching Stuart Atwell, the man in the middle. Morsi 
Big zone for Al Hamadi. Al Hamadi, can he skip away from the Blackburn defensive unit? No, he can't. And that is it. Ipswich have held on. And they move to the top of the table on Good Friday. But full time here at Ewood Park, it's finished Blackburn nil, Ipswich Town 1.